Welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today topic is how to install and configure Samba server on Fedora 34. Small introduction of Samba server. Samba is an incredible powerful tool that allows you to create seamless file and printer sharing to SMB and CIFS client from a Linux server and desktop. With Samba, you can even connect that Linux machine to a Windows domain. This video will show you the method of how to install Samba on Fedora 34. Now I am going to check voice version. Get space slash edc os hyphen release press enter. This is voice version Fedora 34. Now I'm going to install Samba. Use this command dnf install Samba space hyphen y. Installation started. After completing installation, we need to start SMB. System CTL start SMB. And then going to enable SMB. System CTL enable SMB. Now enabled. Now I'm going to check status system CTL status SMB. Now status is active. Now I'm going to make directory. Use this command mkdir. space less data and then mkdir space less value and then I am going to add user use this command add user space hyphen hyphen system space sar user presenter Again, add user space hyphen hyphen system share user one and then I'm going to give permission for data ch1 space hyphen capital R space share user space slash data and then ch1 space hyphen capital R space slash share user 1 slash value and then ch con space hyphen capital R T space Samba underscore share underscore T space less data presenter and Sigach con space hyphen capital R T space samba underscore share underscore T space slash value and then I'm going to open 
vi editor samba configuration file vi space slash edc slash samba slash smb dot conf I'm going to create here user sharing information data data but equal to slash data valid user space equal to share user and then read list equal to share user and write list equal share user browsable equal to yes invalid user space equal to sad user one and again value presenter create for the year equal slash value and valid user equal to sari user one and a read list equal to sorry user one and write list equal to sorry user one Browsable equal to yes invalid user space equal to share user. Share information created. Now save and exit. Now I'm going to set SMB password to users. SMB password space hyphen e space share user. Enter here password. And again, user one successfully added, and SMB password space hyphen e space share user one. In the password, re-enter. Uh, share user one added 
now I'm going to enable user use this command smb password space hyphen e share user user enabled then again smb password space hyphen e share user one user on enabled now I'm going to restart SMB service use this command systemctl restart SMB NMB and I'm going to enable Samba systemctl enable SMB NMB now enabled I'm going to check my IP address IPAS this is my IP now I'm going to open Windows client side browser. IP address. Press enter. Samba is asking password. Enter username. Share user. And the password here. Samba is open. See here data and value our directory. Now I'm open data. Going to create new folder. Folder is successfully created. This file. Don't asking any permissions here. Now I'm going to delete. Successfully deleted. And then I'm going to open this value. It's asking login detail because we are logging in. Share user. This is share user one. Samba successfully working. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, stay tuned to www.linuxhelp.com. If you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.